He wants justice for their loved one nearly seven years after his shooting death. The case for the remaining suspect will head to a jury trial in Portsmouth. This morning, attorneys on both sides met to finalize a trial date. Angelique Arantok joins us after hearing from the victim's family. Angelique. Dana Phillip, family members of the victim Joshua Sykes want answers and closure. They felt defeated Monday when a Portsmouth judge dismissed charges against a man suspected of the killing. But that man's brother still faces murder, robbery and gun charges in connection to Sykes' death. A judge has to sign off on the trial date for defendant Zebulon Weinshell. Online court records show years worth of delays leading up to this point. Weinshell is the only suspect left in the murder of Joshua Sykes in Portsmouth. It's the little, little things that you just miss about him. Police found Sykes shot to death at a home on Wilcox Avenue on Labor Day 2017. Months later, officers arrested Zebulon Weinshell and his brother Alexander Weinshell in connection to the killing. Then, just this past Monday, Alexander Weinshell's attorneys successfully argued the prosecution's failure to give their client a speedy trial. They also cited incomplete court paperwork. Walked away as a free man. And my understanding, it can't be retried. The Commonwealth seemed like they was ill-prepared for justice for Josh. A spokeswoman for the Portsmouth Commonwealth's Attorney's Office sent 13 News Now a statement Friday saying in part, all office attorneys are required to follow protocol, including having command of the standing of cases preceding their assignment, working with defense counsel to ensure orders are endorsed and entered an effective communication with families. We have lost confidence in Ms. Morales and her team. She has had several incidents that major felony cases has been dismissed. Um, it may continue. Since last August, a Portsmouth judge chose to dismiss at least twice over the prosecution's handling of separate cases, one for felony child abuse, the other for first-degree murder. Angelique Aaron talk 13 News Now. Thanks so much, Angelique. Today's statement from the Portsmouth Commonwealth's Attorney's Office denies allegations of the prosecutors dropping the ball, adding in part, quote, there are clear directives and procedures in place that are aimed at successful prosecution of all cases that our attorneys are required to follow.